Hey there, everybody. Thanks for being here with us today. Adam Atwell here, IT with an MVP Kite Technology Group. Microsoft MVP ready to show you some cool stuff. Today we're gonna to talk about Planner and To Do. These are apps that live inside the Microsoft 365 ecosystem and most of you probably have interacted with them or seen them, but I'm gonna to try to show you a few ways that maybe you might leverage them on your day-to-day -day to handle tasks and projects that are at your fingertips. So let's jump in and get started. All right, starting off, uh, you guys can see here that I've landed at the Microsoft home page, um, the Microsoft 365 home. So from here, you can see all your different uh, apps and uh, services that you have. If you don't see it over here on the sidebar, you can go ahead and look at all apps to look for some additional things and then things that maybe you might wanna get back to, you can pin them. So we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Planner. Now I've actually already done that and created some plans for us to talk about here today. So let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more specifically about what you're seeing here. So you can see here that we do have a few different plans that have already been created for us. Um, and this is, this is great. You can see the new plan button. You could either create a plan based on something that you drove out of Excel, a simple plan, maybe it's software development and employee onboarding. And if you go through these different pieces, um, you'll go ahead and uh, fill them out and then they'll go ahead and create you know a plan for you after that happens then you'll have a you know a, you can use any one of those predefined templates to get started but these are just ways that you can really you know start and leverage what's already there so you can see here we have some tasks that were already created for this new employee plan and uh, we have uh, different tasks across these different categories post offer acceptance, technology, paperwork, orientation, and feedback. You can also create a new bucket. Let's just say you have additional stuff like fun stuff. You can add that as well, and then continue to add out. Now, these tasks aren't yet assigned out, but you can see we do have multiple tasks for each one. Let's see what it looks like to add a new uh, task by default. And so the first one is uh, really, let's just call this benefits startup and you can see we can set a due date for this so we could schedule this out to be due on the 27th and then we can assign actually who we want to assign it to and in this particular case i'm going to assign it to uh you know megan and myself now she is not actually a member of this plan so it does tell me hey if you want to add her to the plan you can do that and you'll notice when i do it assigns megan along the way so that's the benefit startup. And then you, you can see I can go ahead and hit add task. Now it's just that simple to create a new uh, task and go ahead and um, add different steps to it. As you go through going through each piece of the task, you can do the check marks and you can see that these different triggers go. Um, if I've gone ahead and set up the employee assets, what happens next? Well, I've done that actually completely. And if I look at these a little bit more, I can realize, well, Maybe I didn't actually complete all of these subtasks, but I did the one. So let's open this up a little bit uh, further and we can kind of say, hey, you know what? We didn't actually complete all these tasks. If we open up the big view of the task, you can see here that um, we do have these different options that we can extend out. We can see that we can drive checklists on these as well. And so we did go ahead and have a few different checklist items that we've added. In addition to that, you can uh, have a start date and a due date. We did define that on the initial one we, we created. So that's uh, just a little bit right now. Again, this isn't assigned out, but I will go ahead and assign this to myself. Um, and and uh, in addition to that, I will go ahead and set this as a urgent item. And we will say the due date is gonna be you know immediately here for today. And so after we go ahead and scroll down, you can see some other suggested attachments. These are things that are included um, in document libraries we have, and we can add those if we wanna include them to the tasks. We can also show them on the card. I'll show you what that looks like here. And then we can also show these checklists on the card. So now that we've made those changes, let's close out and let's take another look. Now you can see the new due date is reflected. It also does show the documents and we can click on there to see those attachments. And then as you go through, you can easily add additional folks 
Uh, let's say we want to add Megan to this as well. Uh, we can do that. We can also add Robert or Lynn, sure. Now Lynn's a member of the team and that's kind of how you go and get tasks set out. Now in that same way, you could also take a project plan, let's just say, and let's say you have these in different teams, right? So you can see the project team was formed, there's some specs written up, prototypes, those kinds of things. Well, that's pretty cool. In addition to that, you can see um, we could actually take these tasks and move them all around into different um, departments or groupings. So even after you added tasks, you can move them along. So that's pretty great. So those are just a couple of things uh, in terms of the tasks themselves. You can also change this view out to a grid view, which will show you more of kind of a list view of what you have going on. You can also see there's a chart view that shows you the status of each of these tasks and how far along they are, what their priorities are and how they're broken down. And then lastly, you do have a schedule view. So this is kind of like planner light, if you will. It'll show you what's going on and ways that you can differently um, interact and organize and view this stuff. In addition to that, you can also change the members of the team. Um, so right now you can see we have all these folks. Let's say I wanted to pull Patty off. Um, I could go ahead and remove her and that's great. And she gets pulled out. And we can also group these by things that are assigned to, um, if we go back to the grid board, um, we could say filter out, show me things that are assigned to Alex only. Um, so these are just different controls you have. So that's pretty awesome. If we go back to the main hub, you can see if I go to all here, these are all the different planner plans that I'm subscribed to and a part of. Some of them are private, some of them are public and some of them are associated with the teams themselves. So that's pretty awesome. Um, in addition to that, I can see a total view of all the things that are assigned to me across each of these plans by the assigned to me view. So pretty awesome there as well. I'm gonna switch over to planner now and you can see, or to do, excuse me, uh, you can see I can actually see now these assigned tasks that were assigned to me over in my to-do list. And as I interact with them, let's say the benefits, I went ahead and completed that and got credit for it. If I come back over here um, and I do a little click aru, you can see that this does uh, go and show you that it's been completed. And that's awesome. If you click in, um, you can actually, uh, you know, see some more detail, but I can see that it was completed a few moments ago by me. Um, the other thing that's great about these is they will actually send you email reminders when these tasks are due. So let's bounce over to our email for a second and see if any of those come through. Um, you also get assigned, um, when you get assigned for tasks, you get these emails as well. So this one here is an email for a task that I have uh, coming up that's due. And you can see here that, hey, um, I'm gonna say show blocked context. It was hiding all the little pretty pictures. But you can see, hey, I have a task that's due and it's due in one day and it's a part of this new employee plan. That's great. I can either go over to, to do or planner and see more. So we'll close out of that and we'll jump back in and do a quick review. So the planner, again, is the comprehensive view that you can see. You can pin these plans, favorite them and interact through them. Um, you can see here's your little pin mark, which is great. And then in addition to that, you can also see at a task level, all tasks that are assigned out. And um, once they're completed, um, you know, they go away. And then these are your plans um, as well as, you know, what you have scheduled on the calendar. If we go back over to the mail view, I want to point out, you can also see um, a couple of different things here. Um, that was just asking me to validate that I did move uh, locations. You can also see how some of this stuff makes it through to your calendar if I go out to the week view. And so I do have um, the marketing sync and the art review. These are all different pieces of the plan that have come through. Um, and so you'll be able to see those things and how they relate to the tasks that you have uh, that are specific to you. 
Um, one other thing that a lot of folks don't realize is you can take these plans and tasks and bring them front and center right inside one of your Microsoft Teams groups. So here you can see we have the Mark 8 project team. This is another one of the plans we reviewed. You can jump in here and click Add, add Tab and you can add uh, tasks by planner. If you click that, the first thing it does is it asks you, do you wanna create a new plan or do you wanna choose from existing plan? Now, the great news is this is only gonna show you view of plans that are available and shared with the Mark 8 project team already. So I'll choose the Mark 8 uh, project plan and I'll hit save. After I do that, in a moment, you'll see we have the embedded view right here of the tasks straight here in line. And you can interact with these just the same as you saw me do in the web. I can click on it, I can come in, I can give it a label if I want, um, so that way we can organize them. I can also have this repeat if I want, um, and then I can update the status on it. So I can say this is completed. When I do that, it goes away, and then you can always see your completed tasks. So uh, that's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of planner and to do. I just wanted to kind of show you guys that this is one of the many Microsoft 365 products and. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. I hope that you can start using Planner and To-Do in your day-to-day -day work and with your team at large. Um, until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.